From the heartland of America to every nation on Earth, this is Jack Van Empe Presents The Truth in News and Commentary. Here now are doctors Jack and Rexella Van Empe. Hello and welcome to Jack Van Empe Presents. You know, someone the other day said to me, oh, Rick Sella, we're living in such a mess age. And uh, you know, there's a phrase that I have often used, and it's true. We have a message for this mess age. And how grateful I am that the message is from the Lord. And you know, Jack, before I even get into the program today, I just want to say thank you for quoting what God has to say would happen in the last days. Just prior to his coming, you always quote the word of God. Thank you for Amen. that. Rexella, in this book, there are 10,385 prophecies, and they're all fulfilled, and you need my Bible to know what's going on. I cover every subject there is in this one book. Oh, yeah, the Bible. Oh, I love that Bible. Well, a friend came to me the other day, and she is a friend. She said, Rexella, you know my family's from Iraq. I said, I know, you're Chaldean, wonderful Christians. She said, Rexella, most of the churches are being blown up. They're being actually put out of the way there in Iraq. They're coming from Iran over. They're killing all the Christians. Thank God we got my relatives out. But we are living in a message I'd like you to see this first headline, if you would, Christianity in Iraq is perilously close to extinction. That's what she said. So the archbishop. All the churches are being closed. And that's what an archbishop had to say. Going on, Yazidi emerged from life under ISIS. Well, these young children, they've been living under ISIS, and now they're being evacuated by the Kurds. Well, what's going to happen over there? Certainly, as we have pulled out, uh, the Muslims are going to be taking over, and that's what happens when they live in that kind of an atmosphere in Syria. Monitor group Bashar al-Assad, main threat for Christians in Syria. Well, of course, who is that? That's the regime dictator over there. And he's, um, yes, he's the main. Well, one thing, though, Jack, that I do want to ask about uh, everything that's happening. Syria, according to the Bible, will go along with Russia. And the dictator there in Syria, very friendly with Russia. Is that not correct? Oh, Rexella, definitely. Syria will go along with Russia and so many others that we're going to be discussing. Right now, I, you know, I preached for years on this, and you're going to hear more in the immediate future. Come on, Rexella. Oh, yes, absolutely. Well, not only are the Christians being massacred in Iraq, but also in Syria. And I'm so sorry that those countries will uh, turn and become atheistic and go along with Russia. But I'm happy that there is a message that Jack used to give, and I've heard it uh, so many times. I want to put something on the screen right now. Discover the stunning truth that prophecies have been fulfilled. For 70 years, Dr. Jack Van Impey, prophetic voice, has been warning our world of the apocalypse to come and the desperate need for every human being to choose new life in Christ before it's too late. You know, Jack has been preaching about the coming war with Russia. And it is like an apocalypse. <laughs> oh, my, like nothing has ever happened on this earth before. And, uh, you know, Jack, would you please right now, just if you would, take the Bible and show us where Russia is going to head up everything that's happening over there. You know, the Christians are being killed in those countries that will go along with Russia and the horrible, horrible war against Israel, right? Rexella, we had the greatest crowds in history because I preached on this subject 3,634 times. I preached it in 80 major churches here in America. I preached it in 
235 citywide crusades to millions. And then I preached it in 32 nations of the world. Finally, I said, I got to do something else for a while. But people believed. And you look, this book is from cover to cover true. Thy word is truth. And God knows what's coming. And God, through his prophets, has explained everything. And you know, a great thing has happened in the last uh, two years. It was August 13th, the Holy Spirit came. And he said, Dr. Ed Impey, you've been appointed by the Father and anointed by me to preach Jesus to the world. Amen. And you must now begin preaching the imminent, imminent, immediate return of Christ. Set it the kingdom of heaven and earth, and I'm going to be doing it because just this last week he came again and said, it's ready to happen. Tell it. Christ's return to set up the kingdom, like it's mentioned there in Matthew 24, verses 3 to 18. Well, Jack, the war in Russia. Ezekiel 38 makes it war with Russia against Israel. Ezekiel 38 makes it very clear that Russia's going to head this whole thing up. Right now, she's been just a little bit quiet. Iran has really raised its head, her head. But uh, I would say that Russia is the one, according to Ezekiel 38, that will head up the war against <coughs> Israel. And if ever it is near, it's near now, friends. My, oh, my, if we want peace at last, we're not going to see it right away. But the Lord will bring it. But, Jack, show us how Russia is going to head this up. Behold, I'm against you, Gog of Magog. And that's Russia. And as you study the kings from the north, it's Russia heading them up. And then they come from the east, all of the Oriental armies, China, the uh, other countries that are part of the eastern bloc. So you've got the northern bloc, you've got the eastern bloc, and then you've got places like Egypt and many of these countries. And oh, there's just so many. It's going to be a world war. And oh, yes, uh, there's uh, Turkey. I just could go on and on and on. It's going to be so drastic that millions, millions, 22 million will die. There's going to be a river of blood 200 miles long, reaching to the bridles of the horses. And oh, God, help us because it's almost here. You know, I didn't know this when I preached it all those almost 4,000 times to the world. But Revelation 3.10 says, Oh, I will keep you from, not through, from the hour of temptation which comes upon the whole world. The hour of temptation is World War III. As he, I will keep you from it. You're going to be evacuated. The rapture. He comes with clouds and every eye shall see him. And 11 one hundredths of a second we're gone. We're over there for seven years getting our crowns. Oh, I wish I could get into the crowns maybe next week. But ladies and gentlemen, it takes seven years to award the Christians with their crowns. And it's take exactly seven years for this war to end with the Battle of Armageddon. So he's kept us from it. He said, come up hither and we miss it for the seven years. And then when he returns, he comes back and sets up his kingdom in Jerusalem. And he says to them at that time, all of us believers, on you the second death has no power. The second death is the lake of fire. So we're going to be saved from death and the second death, meaning if we go to die and you're alive, you'll never die even the first time. Wow, what a wonderful thought. And it's that close. The Holy Spirit just this week came again. So I want you to preach the imminent return of Christ to set the kingdom of heaven on earth. Then don't put it off. <laughs> You're God's prophet now to do it. We're going to get to the, that point in just a moment, Jack, right near the end of the program where we return with the Lord. But I want, want to emphasize again, Russia and the countries that will join with Russia. Why is this happening in Syria? Why have we pulled out so that they can actually become more communistic and atheistic? Take a look at the countries that will join with Russia. ISIS preparing for radioactive and biological attacks. Oh my. And Rexella, that's yes. 57 different nations All right. that are Islamic. All right, going on. 
State media in Iran, Russia indicate growing Russia, Iran, Turkey alliance. Jack mentioned Turkey a moment ago. Those three are going to be very, very close. Um, Erdogan, I'm going to talk about him in just a moment. Erdogan, it is important to show the true face of Iran. Now, it's Muslim. Uh, yes, absolutely. Now, the one who's talking there is of the Likud party from Israel. We've got to face it, friends. That's what he's saying. We've got to show the true face of Iran. Here we are. Erdogan says Turkey should have nuclear weapons like Israel. Another Muslim. Well, of course, uh, that is the president of Turkey speaking out there. We want to have the ability to defend ourselves against Israel. Who is he talking about? Israel. Israel. Hezbollah readying for war with who? Israel. Going on. Hezbollah fires rockets into where? Israel from Lebanon. And going on, Iran's General Salami says destroying Israel, achievable goal. Baloney. All right, then God's again. God's Israel. Iran says it's watching all U.S. ships in the Gulf, keeping record of their movements. Well, who are they really watching? You know, we're on the other side. We're on Israel's side. And so here's something from the Wall Street Journal. Don't rule out war with Iran. Muslims. Absolutely. Well, you know, they're talking about Trump. He's standing up against some of these countries, against Turkey and many of the others. Here we are. China's nuclear missile can reach U.S. in 30 minutes. Well, you know, they're with Russia, too. And Jack mentions this all the time, uh, that Eastern Bloc, China, and then North Korea, and how they come over, and they're real buddies with Russia, China. And then, of course, let's go to Europe. France must declare Hezbollah a terrorist organization. Now, that's uh, Let me stop spoken. There, Axel. I'm from Belgium. Oh, yeah. And France and but the other part of Belgium has now all become Muslim. They are the culprits that are going to cause killing like no one has ever known. Yes, well, they will eventually be on the side with the United States aiding Israel, of course, uh, the European Union, correct? Oh, yes. All right. Well, Jack, there you've got quite a lineup. We've said it before. The nations that are going to be going with Russia. And let me just say, friends, it's all happening now. I can't believe it, Jack. I heard you speak about the coming war with Russia so many times. Oh, yeah. But give me, uh, let me just give you something here. All right. From um, Matthew chapter 24, verses 3 to 18. As Jesus sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of your coming? Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of war. See, that should be that trouble. All these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. Nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famines, pestilences, earthquakes, and divers places. All these are the beginning of the sorrows. And shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, shall kill you. You should be hated of all nations by my, for my name's sake. And then he says they're going to be preaching the gospel of the kingdom. Hallelujah. That's what it's all about. And you know the kingdom is not going to be set up in Rome or New York City, but Israel. God loves the Jew. Amen and amen. Wonderful offer for you this week. I really love it. The final prophecy happening now. Prepare. I love what's on here. How soon will Jesus uh, return? Well, Jack does an excellent job in explaining some of the questions that are going through your mind right now. Could he come tomorrow? Is it really possible? All Every of the, that, sign is here, Rexella. Absolutely. And so here's our promo. <clears throat> I'd like for you to see it. Wildfires in California, volcanoes erupting in Hawaii, earthquakes, floods in Asia, famines in Sudan, 
Radical terrorism in the Middle East exported to America and Canada. Russia rebounding as a dangerous superpower and China gobbling up land and resources in nations around the world. These are all critical signs of the times and the people of God must be able to see and interpret them. Doctors Jack and Rex Olivenepi have created a brand new video teaching, Final Prophecy, happening now, prepare. A shocking prophetic expose that is both chilling and eye-opening. This powerful new production is fast-paced, but clear and concise, and perfect for sharing with unsaved friends, as well with your pastor and church. It breaks out the astonishing predictions of these latter days in a hard-hitting yet understandable format. Oh, friends, we want you to have this in your home. And uh, we want you to make a call after the program or write to us, and we'll get this in the mail as soon as we hear from you. Final prophecy. Wow. Jack really went out on a limb there. Is it really happening now? We'll answer for you on this. I want to go on to something that Jack has referred to many, many times. There's going to be a horrible war. Jack, again, there's a river of blood. How long? 200 miles long up to the horses' bridles. Yes, and that is the Battle of Armageddon. Yes, the final battle. Yes, the final battle. Just as we return with Christ, the final battle, and by the time we hit the ground, it's over, and he says, peace, be. never again will there be war. Peace, peace. Oh, yes. Well, how wonderful it is that when Jack mentioned this in the beginning of the program, we go as Christians before the horrible Battle of Armageddon, before the horrible war. It's seven years long. That war will last. But the Battle of Armageddon is the climax of it all. And before that all happens, the rapture happens, Jesus takes his children home. And then after it comes to a climax, the Battle of Armageddon, Christ says, we are returning to the earth. And he brings us back to the earth in the holy city where we've been living for seven years, and he, we establish the holy city above the old Jerusalem. And Jesus comes back to stop Armageddon. I want you to see well, this. Oh, you really know your stuff, baby. Oh, where do you think I learned it? <laughs> From Jack and Hippie. But I'd like you to see this next picture, please. And it's really, really wonderful. I love it. The Judeo-Christian eternal new world order. Amen. Are we really going to have a new world order? And it will be Judeo-Christian. Will there be other religions? No. Christ is going to set up his kingdom. He's stopping the battle. He's going to set up his kingdom on earth. And for the first time, peace everywhere. Peace on earth. Jack, I love that. The Judeo-Christian eternal new world order. Oh, yeah. And you see, it's the Father's kingdom. When Jesus taught us to pray, Our Father which art in heaven, thy kingdom come. But Christ is the one set up to administer everything. He is the King of kings and Lord of lords. And the Holy Spirit, the one who's been talking to me, and he's been informing me about these great things and that's going to happen soon, is the one who is called the Comforter. And he, says, I'm going to comfort you. My gifts, nine of them are going to be present. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. Amen. Oh, yes, Jack. And you know, you, we've talked about the rapture. It is so very, very needful that we be ready at any moment for the Lord's return. This is why we come into your home, why we go around the world, not a message of, of that's down, but a message that's up. A message where you can be forgiven of your sins. You can be ready for heaven. You know, so many, as we dealt with last week, are on drugs. Maybe you are. On alcohol. Maybe you're an alcoholic. Illicit sex. So much of that going on today. Pornography. All the rest. Are you participating in any of those? But you can be forgiven. That's why Christ came the first time, to give us life that you might be forgiven. The blood of Jesus cleanses from all sin. Jack, would you please 
really give peace to the people out there right now as to how they can be ready for the coming of the Lord. Oh, let's not do that right in a moment. But right now, I have started the new world organization. It's not denominations that we now have. We're only going to have one denomination, Christianity. And I'm calling it the World for Christ Crusade. How can you become a part? How can you become a missionary with us? Please write this week. Ask, because you're even going to inherit our Bibles and many of our gifts, because we are asking God for one billion souls for Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And oh, here's how you can get in. The blood of Jesus, God's Son, cleanseth from A double L, all sin. Lord Jesus. I know now I have done no sin that's so far out that can't be forgiven. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. So right now I ask you to come into my heart and save me. I want to be there with the billions of others soon. Amen. Oh, how wonderful, Jack, to have people pray that prayer. I'll never forget the time that I prayed that prayer. Oh, it was so wonderful. You know, I told you last week that we came from two different backgrounds. Jack, you came from the home of an alcoholic. I came from a wonderful, godly home. But you know what? I needed to be saved, too. At 17 years old, in fact, uh, I talked about the Lord all my life. I didn't live a terrible life, but I didn't know the Lord. I knew all about Him. I led other people to the Lord. But how grateful I am that when I was 17, I prayed that prayer that Jack just prayed. Lord, I'm a sinner too, and I'll never forget the night that he came into my life. And for the first time, Jack, even though I used to go to church all the time, you know, how grateful I am that I had peace for the first time. We can have peace, can't we? It's the only way you can have it. In That's how you know you got it. Amen, in a troubled world. If we want to have peace, and if you want to have peace, you just prayed that prayer. So please write to me, if you will, and I'll send you this wonderful little booklet, First Steps in a New Direction. How wonderful it is to walk with the Lord. I don't care what your background is. I don't care if you're on drugs or whatever or if you're living this life that seems to be so perfect. We all need the Lord, and I trust that you pray that prayer with Jack. I'm going to send you this little book of first steps in a new direction. My life was changed. At 17, being a church member, I became a member of God's family. I trust that you pray that prayer. Write to me. I'll send this wonderful book, a little booklet to you. We'll be pleased to send you a copy of First Steps in a New Direction, absolutely free, if you'll simply write us and ask for it. Our mailing address is Jack Vanipi Ministries, Box 7004, Troy, Michigan, 48007. Remember to ask for your free copy of the booklet First Steps when you write. I just want to say that we have a wonderful, wonderful offer for you. Final prophecy happening now. Prepare. And I can't tell you how you really need to have this in your home because everything is happening right now. Uh, how soon will the Lord return? What is deception uh, and the dangers out there preaching against the return of the Lord? Well, please. Uh, here's our announcer who's going to be coming in a moment to tell you how you can receive it. Don't put it off. You need to have this in your home, even ordering for some of your neighbors. Uh, the last time that we had this offer, oh, quite a while ago, someone said, I got some for my neighbors. I passed them out in the neighborhood. I trust that you'll do that too. Not only bless your heart and enlighten your mind, but also be a witness for others. Here's our announcer to tell you how can we see Final Prophecy happening now. Prepare. Chuck? Thank you, Rexella. My friend, to order Final Prophecy happening now, prepare. Have your credit card ready and call toll-free, 24 hours a day, 1-800-JBI-7777. To order by mail in the U.S., send your donation of $24.95 to Jack Vanapie Ministries, Box 704, 
Troy, Michigan, 48007. In Canada, send your donation of $24.95 to Jack Vanapy Ministries of Canada, Box 1717, Postal Station A, Windsor, Ontario, NINA 6Y1. Now, once again, here's Rex Ella. Thank you so very much, Chuck, and I do want to encourage you, if ever I wanted you to have one of our offers, this is it. Final Prophecy, happening now, prepare. You'll want to have this in your home and share it with others. You know, Jack, I'd like to sort of ask you uh, a question or two right here at the end of the program, at about one minute. How soon do you think it'll be before Jesus really comes back? Oh, Rick Sala, I said it. I'm going to repeat it. It was August 13th, two years ago. And the Holy Spirit came and said, you have been appointed by God and anointed by me, the Holy Spirit to tell the people that Jesus is coming soon. Easter appeared. He said, come on now, preach it. It's about to happen. And last week he said, this is it. It's going to happen so soon, people will be startled. The coming of Christ to set up the kingdom of heaven on earth, the kingdom of heaven, and that's going to be Jewish. Praise the Lord. God loves the Jew. He's going to put it all right there. Forever. Judeo-Christian. Well, uh, I think I have maybe just a second here to ask another question. We talk about the rapture. How long does it take for us to get up into heaven when we, the rapture happens? Eleven hundredths of a second. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven one hundredths of a second. How wonderful that is. When the Lord says, come up hither, he calls us home to be with him for eternity. And uh, when we get to heaven, something happens. <laughs> We are judged for our works, aren't we? There are crowns. Oh, yeah. uh, we're going to talk about that ne next week also. Oh, okay. Yep. What? There are about five crowns yeah. that are going to be given out. I've talked our, about our that. Our dear friend Doris. Uh, All right. Yeah. All uh, right. said, please do that again. I, I want to hear it. So next week. All right, we'll talk about all those, the prophecies, all the gifts. Uh, about those five crowns that will be given out. I can't help but apply that to my own life that when I stand before the Lord and He looks at me or He looks at you, will you be ashamed or will you, you hear those wonderful words, well done, good and faithful servant, and be able to receive a reward of a crown, not to wear in my head, but to lay at His feet. How great that is. Well, I want to leave you with this wonderful, wonderful thought. Live today as if you will stand before God tomorrow. Oh, yes, it could be tomorrow. Until then, I just want to say we're going to look forward to being in your home again next week. Oh, how grateful we are that we are going around the world with this gospel every single week. And until then, always remember, God cares for you. So do we so very much. Bye-bye. The preceding program was sponsored by the partners of Jack Vanapie Ministries.